Hey guys, welcome back. This is Melanie here at Vision City Design Studio. I am so excited to talk about this topic because digital download art or printables as we call them is something that I really feel is taking the art world by storm. It's really a new, I guess you could say a category of selling art and it's something that I personally was a skeptic of and it wasn't really something I thought was going to work. But I was pleasantly surprised. I think a lot of other artists are also surprised by how successful it can be to sell your art in the form of a digital download. Now, if some of you are watching this or listening to this and you're like, I have no idea what this girl's talking about, let me just give you a bit of a definition. So printable art or digital download art is when you actually upload your artwork to a selling platform. Maybe it's an Etsy or a Shopify or Amazon or wherever you sell your art and you actually make your art available as a digital download or a printable. So then the customers, as they are coming through your website or your online selling platform that you sell on, they have the option to download the art. And oftentimes when you sell your art in a digital form, you're selling it for a lower price, which I'll get into in a moment. But what it does is it enables your customer to actually buy something from you and they download it themselves and they print it themselves at home or they can send it to a local printer nearby or what have you. Now there's a lot of kind of curious things that come you know, up to the surface, right? As we're talking about this, the number one thing people always ask me about is copyright. I mean, how do you really prevent people from downloading your art and literally taking it, okay? Now I've done an entire long extensive video about copyright. Copyright is definitely something that is of concern. However, I want to kind of bring up a few things about copyright in this specific conversation. So number one, anytime you put anything online, even if it's a photo of your, you know, your dog or it's, it's a photo of your dinner. I mean, whatever it is that you are putting up online, um, whether it's your artwork, maybe it's your process shots, every single thing you and I put up online technically is available to be taken. And that's a really messed up thing to think about, but in all honesty, that's the truth. If we put up a photo of ourselves on vacation, you know, in Jamaica and we're on, on Facebook, technically somebody could technically take that photo. Now, do we want that to happen? Obviously not, but is that reality? Yes, it is. However, when you are putting your artwork up online, does that mean it can be possibly, you know, downloaded? Technically, yes, but there are measures you can do to prevent that. You know, you can do things like watermarking your artwork so that until it's bought, um, it's going to have watermarks on top of it. Now, is that as beautiful and as sexy as you want art to look? Probably not. But it is one of the ways I've seen a lot of artists uh, prevent people from just straight up taking their artwork. Because if you have a watermark, or what, what I mean by a watermark is an actual, say, your logo um, on top of your artwork or, you know, words running across your artwork. You see this on Shutterstock.com, for example, where until you buy the actual print or the actual artwork, what happens is they, they have, have their watermark all over it. That's one of the ways you can actually prevent people from downloading your artwork. I personally don't love that look because I don't find it helps sales, but um, I, I get why people do it. But technically, when you are complete finished your artwork, it technically does belong to you as a copyright. But what happens is you do need to then be able to prove that in a court of law, and that's where actual formal copywriting comes into play. So I do have another video of that on my Welcome to Vision City YouTube channel. I encourage you to check that video out. I will go into much more detail and legal talk about that in that video. However, in this video, I want to talk more about digital downloads because I still, although there might be some challenges or risks involved, I still believe that it's one of the most um, effective ways of selling your art. And I really believe too that I would rather be somebody to put my art out there when there may be risks than somebody who is going to just hide my art uh, because of fear and because I'm afraid of something happening to it. When you're doing anything, even if you're selling physical art, um, if you're selling digital art, technically there's always going to be a risk, right? Are there bad people in the world? Yes, there are. Okay. <laughs> Mama told us that, right? We all knew that. But I think that if we live based on that, that we're not going to really put anything out there. And that would be a real shame because I think all of us artists have something to say and we have our own perspectives and um, creative uh, 
you know, ideas. And so I think that the art uh, that we are creating deserves to be seen and deserves to be put out there for our customers and our perfect audience, as I talk about in a lot of my courses, our perfect audience is looking for the art that we're making. So number one, yes, there are there some risks with doing digital download, yes, but there's risks in selling any kind of art these days. Anyone can take a photo of any of our art pieces with the, their phone, for goodness sakes. I mean, even if they buy a physical you know, painting, that's you know $10,000. Anybody could technically copy it. Now, is that what we want to talk about and be uh, focused on? No, but that's probably one of the number one things and concerns that people bring to me, so that's why I wanted to touch on that. Now, let's go on to um, why printables. Again, why are printables or digital downloads so popular? Number one, they're instant, okay? People can get them instantly. They don't have to wait for something to ship in the mail. They can literally get it the moment they buy it. They will gain access to a link or a download button that will actually enable them to download the art right away. Now, why is it so important? Because of convenience. Sometimes people are in a pinch and they're, they need a last minute gift idea, maybe for Mother's Day or an anniversary or you know, maybe for a bridal shower or baby shower, whatever. They're going to an event where they need a gift or they need something. Maybe they need something to decorate before a party and maybe they're doing a Halloween party or they're doing a Christmas party and they need more decor ideas and maybe your and my printable art can be part of that. They might need it you know, an hour before the event starts. So where does, how does that work? They need to download something right then, print it off, throw it in a frame and boom, they've got a gift idea, they've got a you know, a really great decor idea before a party, before they're hosting an event. I mean, there's a ton of different ways that printables or downloads can be used. And while I'm speaking about events, digital downloads can be an amazing solution for say invitations or um, wedding decor or table setting decor for like large scale events. I mean, there are so many different ways that digital downloads can be used and sold to customers and how it's really creating solutions for people. I've seen a lot of people who are selling, say, um, you know, bridal shower invitations and they have a variety of different designs that they can then customize for their customer and then they sell the digital file to them and the customer will then go and print them off. So digital downloads are not, I'm not only specifically talking about artwork or just, you know, you know, physical art. I'm talking more about anything that can be sold as a digital download. So maybe you create calendars, maybe you are somebody who creates planners, whatever it is that you are creating, oftentimes now it can be offered as a digital download. You also don't have to worry about things like shipping. So say you're the creator of these digital products, you don't have to worry about shipping them. And the beauty of that is that you don't have to go wait in line at post offices, for example. You don't have to calculate how much things are gonna to cost to ship. You don't have to buy you know, shipping supplies, for example, okay? There's a variety of different things just in that topic alone that are going to save you the hassle um, in, in order to not have to uh, ship them. Another obvious benefit of selling digital products, say as digital downloads, is that you can literally be selling while you're not working. So I always call it, you know, making money while you sleep. And what I mean by that is you can literally be doing something else. You can be having a lovely dinner with your friends, for example, and while your dinner is happening, you are also selling digital products. Why? Because digital products can be sold to anybody around the world. So you're not worried about um, having it only be a local, community of people you're selling to. You could be selling to people in different countries um, at any time, day or night. You could literally be sleeping and be having sales. So that's one of the things I love about selling digitals as well. Now, how do I go about creating digital products? Now, the same way that you would create whatever it is you make. So maybe you're a watercolor painter, you're an illustrator, maybe you do you know pet illustrations, for example. Maybe you create wedding invites. Um, whatever creative thing you're doing on a physical manner, or maybe you are an oil painter, or maybe you are um, you know, a fashion illustrator. I've actually created an entire video all about how to digitize your artwork, so look for that video for more information about this topic, but basically, one of the first things you're going to need to do is to digitize your art, okay? Now, in brief, the way that you do that is by either photographing them or scanning them, okay? Or you can actually obviously create them on the computer as is. But say, for example, you have created an art piece that is not in a digital form. Maybe it's a painting or illustration. 
You can then scan it or photograph it. And again, I go into much more detail in my digitized video, but, or in my digitized podcast, if you're listening to this on podcast, I have these in both formats, but that's the way you want to get them onto your computer. From there, you can crop them, you can color correct them. You can get them in a position to be then sold as a digital product. From there, you're going to go ahead and upload them to your selling platform. Maybe you're selling on Etsy or Shopify or Amazon. Maybe you're selling on your own selling platform, meaning your own website. And that way you then have them available for people to go ahead and download them and purchase them from you. Now I go into a lot more steps on how to do all of these different things and the why behind how to do all these different things inside of my course, The Printable Art Selling Machine. And it's an amazing course. It's something that I've really I enjoyed creating because I love to sell digital products. They've been something that's really changed my life and really opened up my schedule to be able to do a lot more creating, um, having a lot more fun and a lot more kind of free time as as far as creating and um, doing other things within my business. And so for that reason, I really enjoyed creating this course, um, the uh, Printable Art Selling Machine. Now, if you want to find out more about that, you can check out my webinar, which is a free webinar where I talk a lot more about all things selling art online. And it's at visioncity.biz slash webinar. And um, you can go ahead and click on the link below this video, or if you're listening to this on podcast, you can just type this into your uh, URL on your phone or on your, uh, on your computer, wherever you are listening to this. Um, you can go ahead and go to visioncity.biz slash sell your art webinar. I hope that this video has inspired you guys and excited you as much as I'm excited about this topic. I feel like this specific topic is something that's going to continue to grow and more artists are going to continue to jump on board. But while there are not as many artists, it's actually a really good time to take advantage of really growing your business in this area so that when people are typing, you know, looking for printables in different topics that you and I begin to pop up in the search. Thank you guys. And I'll see you next time.